Hi everyone, uh, just a short video, and to let you know why you haven't seen content from me lately, I'm in the process of moving from one house to another. Uh, that'll be done at the end of May, so possibly in June or maybe in July, uh, you should start to see some new content on this channel again. Uh, this quick video is about Professor Kyle Adams from the Flat Earth Institute of Science. Uh, he recently did a an experiment uh, sort of a copy of an experiment that Mick West did uh, to demonstrate uh, the refraction of light. Uh, Kyle used uh, first one fish tank and then two fish tanks uh, next to each other. Um, filled it with water first and then with a sugar water solution. Uh, and his experiment was to see about the refractive effects on, on light. Uh, so first he, show, he uh, shined a laser uh, into it, and he got the laser to refract uh, down as you would expect it to, uh, because it's a standard density gradient uh, decreasing in density as you go up, uh, and that causes the light to bend in the direction of the more dense material. Uh, so that's what you see here, the laser bending down, downward refraction, and if you know anything about refraction, you know that downward refraction uh, makes an object appear or makes the image appear higher than the object actually would if there were no refraction. Uh, and he repeated this then uh, with two fish tanks. Um, instead of using a laser this time, he put a, an image of a boat at the back of the second fish tank, as you can see here. Uh, without the water, you can see where uh, the end of one fish tank appears right here, and the end of the other fish tank appears there, and then the ship appears above it. Uh, he put a washcloth down uh, to eliminate reflection of light. Uh, that's what this blue substance is. Um, and you can see the boat here, and it looks like the boat is obscured a bit by the horizon. Um, however, when you actually compare the two pictures, you'll see that the horizon appears higher. Uh, he actually has the closer... Um, the closer fish tank end marked as the horizon, but I, I would have marked this one. Uh, but in either case, both of these black lines appear higher up in the refracted image, and the boat itself appears higher up in the refracted image. Uh, there's also uh, there's also some of the bottom of the ship appears to be obscured. Now, Kyle has glommed onto the fact that the bottom of the ship appears to be obscured by what is a flat surface. Um, and he's, he's uh, drawn to this as sort of support for ships disappearing over a horizon on a flat Earth. The problem is, of course, that his horizon and his ship appear higher up when they're refracted under these circumstances. Um, and that means the horizon appears higher than eye level, and the ship appears even higher. Um, but we don't see that situation occurring normally uh, when we look at ships going over the horizon or sunrise and sunset. Um, if the Earth were flat and the sun were always above us, then the sun would need to be refracted, the light from the sun would have to be refracted upward for the sun to appear lower than it actually is. If the light from the sun were being refracted downward, the sun would appear higher than it really is. As we can see here, the boat appears higher than it really is because of refraction. So even though it appears that the ship is going behind a horizon, uh, this, this effect is caused by the downward refraction causing the horizon to appear higher than it should and the boat to appear higher than it should. So uh, he seems to look at this as evidence of the boat being lower actually the boat appears to be lower, as in it appears to sink below the horizon line. The boat appears to sink is true. The boat appears to be lower is false. Uh, I don't know why Kyle is clinging to the idea that the boat appears to be lower uh, when his own annotations on his images uh, show it to be otherwise. Uh, generally speaking, my time on this board, which I've been I've been on this Miro.com debate board with Kyle for probably close to a year now. Um, it's been rather hit or miss. 
Uh, I have gotten him to step down from some arguments he's been making or not assess not necessarily arguments he's been making, but arguments being made on his board, flat earth arguments being made on his board. Um, I will say this about Kyle. I don't think he is a critical thinker. I think he's simply critical. Uh, and to give a really quick example of why that is, let me see if I can find the flash attachment. Yeah. So he had posted he had posted this remark. Apparently the moon was so dim they needed a flash on their camera with a, a link to this. And it's true. Uh, of the several cameras that Apollo 11 brought to the moon, one of them had a flash attachment. Now you might wonder, if you think critically, why did only one of the cameras need a flash attachment? if the moon was so dim that you needed a flash attachment on your camera. Why only one camera with a flash attachment? And the explanation was that this camera was positioned here in this device, on the inside of this device. And the device was placed down on the surface of the moon. So the moon, uh, so there was no light getting into this apparatus. That's why this particular camera needs a flash attachment because it's essentially a camera looking down a tube. Both ends of the tube are covered. One is covered by the back of the apparatus and the other is covered by the surface of the moon. That's why you needed a camera with a flash attachment on the moon. Um, it took me a, a fair bit of time to convince him of this, of this, uh, but he eventually accepted it as a, uh, as a defeated or refuted argument. Um, some other places that I would say he, uh, he thinks he's critical without thinking critically um, oh, there's a thing about traveling to Las Vegas. Oh, this is, this is a really, oh, does he have it hidden? I'll, I might fish it up to find it again later. Um, yeah, it was a, a kind of embarrassing thing for him where he thought that time zone changes, um, between Nevada and and California or, or Utah and California, um, he thought that the time zone changes uh, would affect how long a trip took. Um, and I had to convince him that that wasn't true. Um, that's what I mean when I say he's critical, but he doesn't think critically. All right, uh, that's all for this short video. What is it, seven and a half minutes? It's longer even than I expected it would be. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, Maybe you'll see me again in June, maybe July, who knows. Uh, anyway, this is Night Sky Jeff. Keep looking up.